In this lecture, we'll see how we can download the starter kit of React.js and then we'll see how we can create one simple hello world example using the React.js library. So first of all, just go ahead to this URL and then click on download starter kit. And once you've downloaded the starter kit, you can pick specific files like react.main.js and jsx transformer.js. These are the two primary files that we need to have and you can put it inside a JS directory. After that, create one HTML file, a very simple one. And you can see that we have just referred these two script files that we have over here. And first of all, we are referring the react.main.js and then the JSX transformer.js. After that, we have created a hello world.js file. You can see that we have specified its type as text forward slash JSX. Now, JSX is basically a syntax JavaScript with XML kind of syntax that ReactJS supports and using that syntax you can basically write the HTML content to a specific container element. So over here what we are trying to do is write hello world and put that content inside this container, div container which we have defined over here. Now we can do that without the JSX transformer.js as well, which we'll be seeing in a short while. But this is what we need to create our first Hello World React.js example. So now if I run this one in browser, here you can see the response is coming up properly, Hello World. And if I just show you the inspect element of it, you'll notice that the Hello World is inside the div container, which over here we have passed inside our JS file. Now, because we made use of type text forward slash JSX, if we remove this one and try to run this page now, you'll notice that the output is not coming at all because this syntax that we have written inside this script file is basically making use of JSX. And for that, we need to have JSX transformer.js to interpret it, and this will only do that when it will have this type specified with the script tag. Now let's see how we can create the same without making use of the JSX transformer.js. In order to ensure that we do not make use of the JSX transformer.js file and the type of a script that we specified over here is text forward slash JSX. Over here you can see that we have commented these scripts and we have created a new one with no JSX. Now with no JSX if you see we are making use of the same render method of react library but over here we are making use of the create element. Now this create element if you take the unzipped version of react.js here you can find type config and children and that is what we are passing over here type being the HTML type that is h1 tag div or anything of that sort and over here the content is hello world which is being passed to this container so if i now run this over here in browser you'll see the output coming as hello world there's no difference in the output but you have seen now that we can create the same thing using jsx and without jsx but if you take a look at both the script files this one looks more meaningful and more relevant to the HTML syntax that we usually follow compared to the one we have shown in nodejsx.js. So moving forward, we'll be making use of the JSX syntax to write future React.js code in this tutorial. So this was a simple hello world example using React.js.